Abby and I were driving back and um, we were stopped at the light and we saw a man who needed help um, just with a sign that just said um, something like along the lines of anything helps. We went back and we made a bag full of food and we wrote him a few cards with some like Bible verses on it, just telling him that he was loved. Um, and then we went back to give it to him, but he was gone. As we were driving back from church the next weekend, we um, encountered him again. And so we decided to go back and make the basket again and bring it back to him. We ended up giving him the bag at the corner and he was super thankful. He asked us how the Chiefs game was going. <laughs> Pastor Ryan drove by just like honking so much and it really surprised us but it made us smile because just to like see somebody else um, really happy and like to maybe brighten his day as well. And I feel like that's what Jesus wants you to do is like help people that need it the most and just like be a light for them. And I, we were hoping that like by writing him those notes that we could be kind of like an open door for him to maybe like find the Lord if he didn't know him. I think that like in the past I had been kind of given the opportunity to maybe serve, but made an excuse of why I couldn't. So I felt that like we had the time, we had the resources. So um, just like helping my neighbors and helping everyone in need, I just felt like we could have, if we had the opportunity, we should take advantage of it. I mean, I feel like I just see the church, like we always come together, especially in times of need. And like having that community for myself, that's always there. Like I wanna be that community to other people. And even if it's not people in the church, maybe like, we can be the people that bring them to the church. And so I feel like just being a light for Jesus and kind of walking in his shoes, I guess, of what he would do, I think is really important.